G'day guys, Big On here. Have you ever started up a game and seen logos appear of the teams and engines used to make that game? Those are called splash screens. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create your own splash screen for your game in Unity. Before we start though, I'd like to thank this video's sponsor, Admix. Admix is the most advanced advertisement platform helping game devs like you monetize your work with in-game ads. These ads, however, appear inside your game scene like a poster in the real world. They're not obtrusive and let the player keep on playing while you make money. You can have full creative control over how these ads appear in your game, from changing its physical appearance to adding shaders and materials to help them fit in. It takes less than an hour to get these ads set up, and you don't need to program anything, with the plugin being fully integrated into your Unity project. There are also analytics to help you track your ads and optimize them externally. Check out the link in the description to get started with Admix. And thank you once again to Admix for sponsoring this video. Now to get started with making your splash screen, you want to go to the edit tab, come down to project settings and click on the player option. Here is where you can change your company name, the version number of your game and the icon. But what we're worrying about at the moment is this splash screen option down here. So you click on that and all these settings appear for um, customizing your splash screen. If we click on the preview button for now, this is how it appears uh, stock standard. And we're gonna play around with it to, you know, change it to our liking. And I'll show you guys what, what everything does. The splash style here, currently it's on light on dark. You can change it to be dark on light. So the background is light and the logo is dark. If you have a different color palette that you would prefer for your game, I leave it as light on dark. Um, the start of the animation, you can change that to dolly, which means that the animation moves a little bit while static keeps it as static. If you have Uni Professional, you can turn off the Unity logo. Um, I'll show that later when I actually put in a logo and as well as for this draw mode. The background color over here, you can change the color to like whatever you want really. And then you have a different colored, uh, different colored background. If you don't want a background color and you want an image, you can set an image. Uh, just make sure when you import your image, you choose it to be uh, sprite 2D and UI, and then make sure you apply that. And then you can just drag and drop or use a little select thing. And then if we click, if I move this back over, and we click the preview button, you have your background. And you can also choose whether to blur this or not. And it looks like that, very nice. And if you're making for a mobile device, you can choose an alternate portrait image, which will show up when the, uh, you're playing the game in a portrait mode. Now let's put some logos in because you want to show off your team, right? Uh, just make sure you do the same thing as the background image. You change the texture type to Sprite 2D and UI, apply, and we'll do the same for here. Now you can add logos. So let's put in logo one as our first one down here under logos. You can change the duration for how long you want the logo to play for. I leave it as the default two seconds. And if you want to add another one, click this little plus button and then put your next logo in. And then we can play with the other settings before that I skipped over. The, uh, the draw mode. So the Unity logo below is default, which means if we click preview, Unity, the made with Unity will stay underneath the two logos. Whereas if we change it to all sequential, you can see that it will put up the made with Unity first, followed by your own logos. And I think that's basically everything. So that's the basics really of making your own splash screen in Unity. You can play around with more settings if you want to and put it, make it to your liking and then have something nice for people to look at when they come in to play your game. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope this helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more Unity and game dev related content like this. And if you have any uh, suggestions, or just any general comments, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. Other than that, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.